I want to just feel safe. I want to feel cozy. I want those nurturing, homey vibes. And for me, Christmas or just decorating for Christmas, Yule Winter, really has that vibe where it is very homey, very cozy, very magical. friends welcome back to another video today is the day friends today is the day today is the day that i have been anticipating since i took down my spooky decorations and that is to decorate for winter yule christmas i am so excited because i have really been craving just coziness all around it's not even winter yet and all i want is just cozy vibes cozy books just coziness feel good heartwarming coziness that's kind of where i'm at mentally <laughs> i just think there's just been so much going on personally in my life and as well as globally that all i just want are just feel good vibes i want to just feel safe i want to feel cozy i want those nurturing homey vibes and for me, Christmas or just decorating for Christmas, Yule, Winter really has that vibe where it is very homey, very cozy, very magical. And that's that's just really what I want. Usually around this time of the year, late November is when I start decorating for Christmas. So we're right on schedule. I like decorating a little bit earlier just because I like to enjoy the christmas decorations and just prolong their stay a little bit longer <laughs> so this video is not just about decorating for christmas for winter it's just about feel good vibes it's about coziness it's just about feeling safe so i'm going to be doing not just decorating i'm also going to be doing some cozy crafts if you've been here for a little bit i shared in one of my sort of recent videos that me and my husband about a year ago decided to move in with my family with my parents and we've been here ever since because we are trying to save up for our home to buy a home that is initially the plan so we've been here for a year now and i shared on that video that i'm talking about how oftentimes it's kind of hard to feel like you can enjoy the moment because it's not where you want to be and so i've struggled a lot with that mindset since moving here and i decided not that long ago that i was going to stop living in that mindset because i don't want to wait to enjoy my life until i reach whatever it is that i'm trying to to reach for me what really helps me is to make the odds feel good <laughs> and for me that looks like decorating my space decorating this this uh room that me and my husband have been li living in for the past year which is also our workspace because we both work from home so decorating and making our space feel cozy really goes a long way and i've worked really hard to our space to have that vibe so in this video i'm going to be Umping it up a little bit more uh, the last couple of days I've gone out and about and I've purchased a little thing or so To make our space feel a little bit cozier if you know me, you know that I love thrifting I went thrifting and I found some really cool goodies Which I'll show you guys in a little bit that I'm going to be using to decorate the space this past weekend My sister was here and we did um, some home DIY ornaments which came out so magical and that kind of inspired me to make my own little ornaments because I ended up getting a small little tree for our bedroom for me and my husband we have a big tree but that one is being used as a communal tree for my household so I decided to get a small little tree for our bedroom so I think I'm gonna make a couple of ornaments I'm not sure we'll see how this vlog goes but I would love to make some ornaments because the ones that we made for the communal tree for our household came out so so cute so majestic I love them so in this video friends not only are we going to be decorating for Christmas it's just gonna be feel-good vibes okay feel good safe homey heartwarming vibes so with that being said friends please remember to like comment engage subscribe it really helps out my channel and I hope that you enjoy this video The 
these are some of the items that I recently thrifted. I really loved this. I don't know what it even says, but I really just loved the rose or the, oh my gosh, the peony. I'm sure this is a peony. Am I even saying that right? Because I'm pretty sure that's what this means. <laughs> but I just really loved this flower. I think it would look very beautiful on my collage wall. I know it's not very Christmas, Yule, wintery, but the way that I like to decorate, even for the holidays, is just based off a feeling. I want it to feel cozy and homey. That's how I like to decorate. And of course I decorate like that year round, but I feel like for the holidays, I like to bump that up <laughs> a bit more. And I always love pieces that are very versatile. I love pieces that I can just decorate with any time of the season. And I mean, the hints of red and green, which are the traditional colors for Yule and Christmas. So I figured that this would be nice to prop on my collage wall or somewhere. And this is definitely a piece that I would have year round, which I love. Also not very holiday Christmas, but I just really loved this huge vintage, ish it's not vintage but just like this vintage key type of thing for decor purposes i thought this would also look very nice on my collage wall and then this little piece right here definitely gives me yule i need to clean it <laughs> yule christmas vibes the design on this is so beautiful it's a little plate it's metal I'm not sure if it's silver the wilton co i'm not sure but the design here, it did give me very much Yule Christmas vibes. Another piece that I would have year round, which again, is great for me. And then you guys, here is the rest of my Christmas stuff that I'm going to be using to decorate. These are Christmas bins that I need to go through and see what I want to use for our limited space here. <laughs> And then this is a little mini four foot tree that I just got. I got this from Michael, Michaels, yes. And they were on sale for $30. And they had one on display and it's a pretty decent size. And then I just recently got some little um, star lights. I'm thinking of putting these around my bed. I have, I have one of those little canopy beds, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. So I'm thinking of putting those on my bed to make it extra cozier. And then you guys, I got these huge stars. You have to kind of um, open them up. You pull the string and it becomes like a 3D star. I got two of those and then I got a box of those, like three little small ones come in here. I got these from Amazon. I've been wanting some of these for the longest time because I'm thinking of putting them up here on my bookshelf, kind of like dangling down. I think they will look so, so nice. And again, I'm thinking of leaving these up here round. I just really love how that looks or I'm hoping it will look nice. Plus you could put little um, LED lights inside of here and they light up. So magical, so cozy. My mom just gave me this right now. She had this from last year. It's a little beaded garland. So I'm excited to put this up somewhere, either on our tree or somewhere else. And then I recently picked these up from Target. These were $3 each. They're little ornaments and I really love them. This is a little moon, a sequence moon. And then this little beaded star. That is pretty much what is happening, friends. I also got this really cool duvet at the thrift store. It's so magical. It's so pretty it is more autumnal colors but that's fine because those are the colors that i like to decorate my space with anyways but i'll show you that to you guys in a little bit i cannot believe i scored that at the thrift store i think i got it for 25 dollars. i i love thrifting you guys i didn't film it because i was in the moment we did a spur of the moment thrift store run me and my sisters and i found those things so friends let's get to decorating i'm gonna start off with seeing where i want to place the tree because like i mentioned my space it's kind of small and we have limited its space so I I need to see where I'm gonna set up the Christmas tree. <laughs> Christmas tree. Okay, so quick tour. This is sort of how our bedroom slash office is divided. We have bedroom over there. <laughs> we have sort of living space situation here. And then we have my 
desk area, office area over there, and then my husband's desk area, working area over here. And it's been working great for us. So limited space, but I'm thinking of setting up the Christmas tree here on top of this thing. We'll see if it works. And if not, I might use this little side table, put it there, put the tree on top of it because this does have a little rim on it. So we'll see what works.
it out that you get. Oh, you ever wanted there's it? There's something in there. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Look at this cute little guy right here, you guys. It looks so cute. I couldn't stop staring at it all night. Honestly, the entire room just turned out so well. I made sure to put a whole bunch of cozy little lights everywhere, sprinkled all around my space. And at night, it just looked so magical and so beautiful. And that was the intention, is to make the space look nice and cozy and magical. And I feel like lighting really helps with that. Yesterday, I got pretty tired. I was very, very tired after maneuvering around the space and trying to film while also decorating and using my brain <laughs> to see where things were gonna go. It was just very, very exhausting. So after I finished putting things where I wanted them to go, I took a nice nap. But today, friends, today is another day where we are celebrating and trying to embody cozy and what coziness is. So I thought that it would be great to do some crafts. I am going to be doing a little ornament for my tree. I think I want to do one or two. Crafting to me is one of those cozy things that you can do year round to really channel the energy of cozy. So I'm going to do some ornament crafting with a couple of scraps of fabric that I have laying around. I might do some reading as well. I am in between books right now so I need to figure out which one I want to continue reading or maybe read today. As of right now, it is pretty early in the day. I do have some work to do, so I can't quite get into the cozy groove right now. So I'm going to go and get some work done, and then I will probably touch base with you guys a little bit later on once we get to crafting. All right, cheers, friends. <laughs> as I've wanted to all day because I have been pretty busy packaging or not packaging but printing all of my November Patreon rewards. If you didn't know I do run a Patreon where I offer a whole bunch of different goodies. We have a book club there, I do videos, I uh, share a little cute downloadables and I also ship monthly art rewards that I illustrate myself and November I introduced this new I suppose new meld goodies where I am doing little packages of junk journaling sort of papers and stickers that you can use for your journals for your planners and a couple of months ago I had mentioned that this was going to be a new thing that I was introducing in November I've been very excited with prepping and testing different papers because usually I would outsource my prints and my stickers however I wanted to take a shot at printing everything here in my little corner office I have been testing some papers and seeing what works and I've had some pretty good success so today was my printing day where I was printing everything that I was going to be shipping out for the month of November for my patreon uh, mailed rewards tier members I just want to show this to you guys really quickly because I am so proud of how all of this has been coming out and I, I guess I'm doing like a little shameless promo here but this this is a major um 
portion of my income as a creative and I don't really talk much about my Patreon here. So I'm just doing a little shameless plug. <laughs> I get the worst lighting in my bedroom and it's already kind of late. Well, not late, but you know, the sun is setting and it's not the best lighting in my room ever. So I bought a little lamp thingy that I've been using. <laughs> so this is the November print that I illustrated for the month of November. I love how whimsical and sort of eerie it still looks. I am so, so happy with how these came out and the paper quality that I was able to find really, it, it just works so well with the colors that I'm using. So this is a print and then I'm doing a little strip of just illustrations that I did in a little strip format. And I feel like folks can just cut these up individually and sort of collage them if they want. I really love how these little square illustrations look. I think they're super cute. Then this was a new thing for me that I wanted to try out. I created a pattern because as some of you guys know, I think I shared a couple videos ago how I want to start a stationary line. So I have been playing around with prints and making just cool uh, graphics that are still very much my style. So I took a shot at making a little pattern print and I was testing some papers and I found this really cool paper that is compatible with my printer. And I hope, I don't know if you guys could see it, but... I made a little tree branch with stars print and it just looks so cool. I found this plasticky clear paper. I don't think the camera's not really picking it up, but let me see if I can put it on white background. I honestly thought this paper was just not gonna work with my, um, with my printer and that it just wasn't gonna come out good, but I was so surprised to find that I really, really love how this looks. So this is how it looks on the background. I love it so much, it's so cool. And it's clear, you can't really see it here, but this is how it looks like. So, so cool. I am so proud of this. I really love how the pattern looks. And for this to be on a sort of little different kind of material sheet to add a little bit of contrast with the journaling packages that I'm shipping off to all my patrons. I thought this was really, really cool. I am so excited to continue playing around with this papery, what's well, not paper, this, um, I forgot what this was called, but I'll put it down here somewhere what this paper is called or this material is called. But I was so excited to play around with this and to tr continue trying it out. And then the last thing that is added to my little journaling packaging is this little cute crow with a whole bunch of eyeballs. <laughs> I really love this so much. So this little care package for journaling is getting shipped off to all my members who are signed up for the mailed tier rewards. I do have two mailed tier rewards, but my Patreon is always linked down below so you can kind of read which tier gets what. But yeah, I'm super, super excited for this and to continue offering little goodies for my patrons they're going to be the the folks who get to see the growth i suppose of me having an attempt of having my own stationary line so i'm super excited but i just wanted to share that with you guys because i never talk about my patreon and this is pretty much what i've been working on all day but i think i'm gonna put that aside i still need to package them and ship them off i'm gonna leave that to the side and finish that off tomorrow it's already let's see it's already 4 22 and it's very gloomy outside it's cold outside so i think i want to make some ornaments i have a couple of scraps of fabric and trims that me and my mom and my sisters were using to make our ornaments for our family tree, our family Christmas tree. And I want to make a few for my little my little Christmas tree, my little guy over here. And I have a whole bunch of little beads and jewels that I'm going to be hot gluing and just some cute little trims. So I think I'm gonna... Oh, and then I already have my cutouts. I'm gonna be using these, these little hearts from cardboard and I'm going to layer the fabric on top of this and then just hot glue 
some stuff on there. I'll probably make two, if not maybe one. My Christmas tree is pretty small and it's already getting, I think it's already kind of full with the ornaments I have on there. But I think it would be nice to just make an ornament or two for my new little Christmas tree back here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the afternoon. Just have some cozy downtime and I will see what else we get into later on.
Thank you.